Oh, hi, little villagers. Welcome back to the village. If you are new, hello, welcome. I'm Kai. And today we're going to be talking about the character that I think is going to be the best coming to this DLC. And I'm going to kind of take the rest of the video to explain exactly why I think it is who it is. As y'all can see on the thumbnail, I believe that it's going to be Khalifa. Um, but before we get into that, I just wanted to say thank you once more for all the support we've been getting on these last few videos. It's been really amazing, guys, honestly. So thank you again. And guys, I'm going to give an official sub goal. We haven't done that yet, really. But at this point, let's just 500 subs. That is our goal currently. Once we hit that, oh, it's going to be awesome, guys. The village is going to be jam packed with people. I'm excited. So guys, please help us get to that 500 sub goal. Make sure y'all do subscribe. But with that, let's get right into the video. So guys, to start Khalifla. Why do I think she's going to be the best character? Well, first and foremost, Khalifla, compared to Jiren and Gogeta, she's bringing us three new moves to this, which I think more moves, more content, that's always better. So we're getting three new moves. So to start, one Khalifla, right? Khalifla, she is in Super Saiyan 2, which is a bit unfortunate. I'd rather her just been in base. But moving forward from that, we can kind of check out her moves. I guess I'll start with her ultimate, as you guys can see here. Uh, her ultimate is really quick i don't know why they didn't show the last part of it her ultimate is really quick and it, it's it's just i think it's going to be very useful I, personally i believe it's a little boring but i still think it's going to be very good it's probably going to be a three bar and it's going to be really quick because um as you guys can see the move it, it looks like all you knock back done and it's really fast so that's really cool and then so her ultimate looks like it's going to have a lot of potential in um online and even um offline if you're gonna do uh some parallel quests and whatnot but yeah her move her ultimate i think is gonna be very good um compared to kefla's ult which a lot of people are comparing it to kefla's ult it's a lot faster and that's a big part of it kefla's is most likely gonna do more damage than khalifa but i still do think that this is gonna be better just because how easy it is to get off and how quick it is while kefla's is a little bit slower so now, moving forward from Crush Stream, which is the name of the ultimate, if you were wondering, uh, this move right here, Crush Cannon. Crush Cannon, for me, I'm, I don't know, out of the three moves, I think this might be the worst one. I still think it's very interesting, though, because Crush Cannon, uh, it's, I'll read it to you guys exactly how it says, because we just kind of have to wait and see how it is in-game. But hold down the fire button to power up Khalifa's key. You can also guard to maintain the energy buildup. So what I'm imagining is... You can start charging it, you can um, switch to guarding, and then like if you do like a perfect lock or something, you can just like throw it right after that. Um, again, I could be wrong, like I could be entirely wrong, because the trailer didn't do a great job, I think, of showing how it works either, exactly, because I don't think she even fired the move in the trailer, but um, I'll make sure. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know, I, I feel like it could be a lot better, um, or a lot more, like, better explained, I should say. But again, this move we'll have to see in game how it actually works, and then I, you know, I'll change. If I have to say that I was wrong about it, that it's kind of like luster, then I'll say I was wrong, um, because I am open to any sort of correction or whatever in the comment section. I appreciate you guys when you do correct us, because that, you know, that that'll only just make us better. You know, understanding that we are human and we get things wrong sometimes is very important. But Crush Cannon, I, again, I, I'm just not that interested in the move personally. I'm probably not going to use it too much, but it's still another move we're getting from Khalifa. Moving forward again, we got Crush, Double Crush, which I almost just wanted to make a whole video about this move. That's why it's last. Double Crush looks amazing. I am so hyped for this move. I literally, this is the whole reason why I'm making this video. Because Double Crush, for one, it, it, it looks, it's reminiscent of Flash Chaser. Like, like, first and foremost, reminiscent of Flash Chaser. Which, if you guys don't know, Flash Chaser, you shoot out some uh, key blasts. It's eight key blasts after you hold the um, button for a little bit, and then you can, uh, um, sorry, <laughs> then you can put it uh, input again, and then call them back and to come hit the opponent. Which Flash Chaser is a really good move, I'd say, but this just seems better. For one, it doesn't. It looks like you just throw it out. It's there. While Flash Chaser, you have to hold it for a little bit for them to all appear. Two. It, it just it, it just looks better like it looks like it'll connect better i don't know because flash chaser again is a really good move and i just think this is a better version of it entirely because it, it looks like the uh, it just depends on the uptime how long is this move going to be active that i think will determine its its usability as well as how much damage it actually does do 
So we'll have to wait and see to see that kind of stuff. But I, I'm excited for, for Double Crush. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm excited for Double Crush. It looks really fun, for, more than anything. And that's the biggest part. The reason why I think Khalif was going to be the best character in this game is because she looks really, really fun. And that's a big part of this game. If we're not having fun with it, what's the point? You know, like that's why when I say best, most of the time I mean most fun. Because best, it, it, it's, it's subjective. You know, everyone has a different opinion, but personally I believe best means the most enjoyment out of what you're doing. So Khalifa looks like I'm gonna get the most enjoyment out of her moveset and her as a character, because I do love Khalifa. People can hate on her, I love her. Um, but guys, let me know who you believe is the best character coming to this DLC. I've been seeing a lot of people say that they agree with Khalifa being the best character in this game coming, or the best character in this DLC coming. But again, let me know what you think personally. Uh, but with that, guys, I'm Kai. Peace.